Welcome to Apart But Together, Expanding Our Community. My name is Iman Arabi Kathli Hashim, and I am a program director at Occidental College World Language Project, a consultant, a StarTalk team leader, and an Arabic language instructor at Cal State Long Beach. In this session, Designing Effective Online Learning Plans, Adapting Resources and Strategies, you'll have a chance to identify the principles of effective online world language classrooms. Also, you will analyze an adapted online learning plan and describe what makes the learning experiences effective. So what are the characteristics of effective online language classroom? Let's start by examining the following core teaching practices that have been identified as critical for effective language learning experiences. Use the target language as the vehicle for content of instruction 90% uh, of the time, uh, providing uh, comprehensible input, um, using context and providing um, ways of interaction, design and carry interactive reading and listening comprehension uh, tasks while interpreting various kinds of authentic text with appropriate scaffolding and follow-up tasks that promote interpretation, design and carry interpersonal communication tasks for uh, peers, small groups, and whole classroom interactions. Uh, plan with the end in mind by identifying the desired goals, determine acceptable evidence, and then moving into designing well-sequenced learning experiences that lead to the achievement of the goal. Teaching grammar as a concept and use in context, which means focusing on meaning before form. Uh, provide opportunities um, uh, and provide appropriate feedback in speech and writing on various learning tasks for mediating uh, learning and um, uh, for mediating learning and language development. StarTalk identified six principles for, uh, for effective teaching and learning, uh, starting with uh, designing or using curriculum and units that incorporate uh, the word readiness standards for language learning, providing a meaningful uh, and purposeful context that is cognitively engaging and relevant to learners, and using the backward design <clears throat> Uh, to uh, to design these uh, curriculum and units or to implement these curriculum and units. Uh, learners uh, engage in relevant real world performance tasks to demonstrate how well that they are meeting the performance targets and goals of the units for each mode of communication. Uh, and again, uh, the use of authentic resources that are cognitively engaging due to its richness uh, in cultural and content knowledge and using uh, the target language uh, to, uh, to understand uh, and using uh, strategies for reading strategies to be able to unlock the meaning and, and understand these texts. Uh, and, Teachers um, use the target language 90% of the time and using a variety of strategies to make the target language comprehensible uh, to students and frequently check for understanding. Um, make uh, instructional decisions based on learners' age, interests, uh, abilities, and needs, and create multiple opportunities for students to interact in real-world tasks in the target language in a way that sparks their interest and invite inquiry. Also design learner-to-learner -learner interactions in order to enable uh, the learners to collaborate and communicate in a meaningful way. Uh, teachers also select authentic text and resources appropriate for the theme, age, and interest of the students and performance targets of the unit. Of course, that's happened using the target language. With the sudden shift into the online, the teachers, they started to ask, can they adhere to the 
core practices and principles of uh, world languages uh, via technology? Can they use the target language 90% of the time and making it comprehensible? Would they use the same strategies to make it comprehensible? Can they replicate the activities that, that they can carry through face-to-face -face in the online sessions? What types of programs that, that they can use uh, to help them to achieve their goals? Uh, let's uh, look at the best practices uh, for teaching online as described by Arizona State University. So starting with uh, the instructors making them the, themselves presence uh, by posting announcements, appear in videos, uh, participate in discussions, um, and then uh, setting clear expectations through detailed syllables, uh, syllabus uh, and uh, due dates and schedule, clear assignments and directions identify the learning objectives that they are essential for the learning and uh, provide feedback to improve students' outcome, involve students in real-world application, show students how that they can apply what they are learning in, in learning in real-world uh, situation, orient students to the online courses by breaking uh, the learning into smaller chunks, establish a pattern of activities, and describe expectations for online participation, communication and netiquettes, um, provide technical support and information. In planning and online learning experiences, we need to make a decision which part of the learning experiences and the evidence of learning can be performed in asynchronous mode or synchronous mode. So let's explore the resources we produced in response to the needs of providing models that support the core practices and start talk principles. So let's examine the following resources. The first resource is authentic resources. It's a pool of various kinds of authentic texts such as websites, blogs, vlogs, TV shows, uh, programs, uh, interviews, um, and uh, these texts are accompanied with uh, a guide that lists topics uh, that available in each of these texts and uh, the language, culture, and content available in these texts uh, that, that can be taught from these texts. And in addition to suggested real world interpersonal and presentational tasks. Also, teachers from elementary, secondary, and post-secondary designed learning plans that are aligned with the StarTalk model curricula for novice students. The plans are accompanied with uh, classroom videos, uh, handouts, and PowerPoints. So let's explore and analyze samples of learning experiences. Then we will identify what why and how that they are adapted in order to make them appropriate for online setting. The first learning plan used the following program can do statement from Start Talk model curriculum and adapting performance task in order to fit students' age and level of proficiency and knowledge. So they can give presentation about famous athlete or famous person, and that they create a digital posters uh, presenting their personal hero or that person. The learning plan is divided into three learning episodes to maximize the effectiveness of learning according to the primacy recency effect. The program can the program can do statements is unpacked into lesson can do statements and used as a focus uh, of the learning episodes. The first learning episodes focus on identifying a person according to an oral description. As for checking for learning, students listen to their teachers uh, describing various people and they would choose the appropriate pictures and adjective. In this learning episode, there are three activities and the last one is used to check for learning. We will explore these activities and discuss how we adapt them 
to online setting, uh, whether we use asynchronous or synchronous sessions, and what types of technology programs we can use. The first activity is a chat station. Chat station is an activity where students work in pairs or in small groups. The purpose of this activity is to provide a way for students to communicate and collaborate in a natural way uh, uh, and informally assess students' retention of previous knowledge. For this classroom, the teacher posted uh, pictures around the classroom and students were divided into pairs activity that was delivered in pairs. Students move from one station to another and talk about what did they see in each picture. Let's have a quick look at how it is done in the classroom. Marid, who البنت مريض نعم. اه مريض نعم. من هذا هل تعرف من هذا هذا هو رجل نعم so, well. so to adapt this activity for online setting we can use zoom breakout rooms to work in pairs or small groups as for the stations we can use pair deck where the teacher posts uh, the pictures on an interactive slides the the students can access these um, pictures uh, via phones uh, tablets or computers uh, pictures are grouped to give more uh, chance for to talk and serve uh, for differentiation and in here we can see the teacher whether they are writing their answer recording their answer she has a chance to look and the students can look and notice that there's no names is written on them, but they can, it depends if you want that they can write their names, uh, but at this time it's uh, for low effective filter, this is a way that, that they can do, do it without their names. So it's pair decks and how we are gonna fit these activities. Uh, this act these activities fit into uh, asynchronous, uh, however, students would benefit from a short asynchronous session using recording on PowerPoint or a short video for modeling and preparing for this activity. The second activity, the teacher uses use picture of famous people or people and to input a new vocabulary and structure. So let's see how it's done in the classroom. من يعرف هذا شرطي شرطي هذا شرطي هو يساعد إذا كان يساعد الولد انظر هو ينزل إلى الأرض تحت ويساعد الولد في الحذاء ما تظن هل تظن أنه لطيف نعم هل هو كريم لا نعرف هو لا يعطي نقود هو يساعد إذا هو متعاون متعاون هو يساعد الولد هو يعاون الولد في لبس الحذاء وأيضا هو ينزل إلى تحت ويساعد الولد هو متواضع متواضع هو لا يقول يشاهد الولد لا أريد أن أساعد الولد لا هو يذهب إلى الولد ينزل إلى تحت يساعد الولد فهو متعاون ومتواضع متواضع this activity can be easily adapted into online setting by using Zoom in a synchronous session. That's good. It's really good that it's easy to be, uh, to be done this way. The last activity is used as a check for learning where students are given the chance to demonstrate their ability to identify people according to the teacher's oral description of their physical traits and action. So let's look how it's done. <laughs> نور ليث إبراهيم هي طفلة سورية طفلة سورية شعرها طويل لونه بني فاتح 
لونه بني فاتح هي متفوقة في مادة الرياضيات حيث أنها فازت بالمرتبة الأولى هي متفوقة في مادة الرياضيات حيث أنها فازت بالمرتبة الأولى so, ما شاء الله ممتاز so to adapt to adapt to this activity to adapt this activity into online setting we can use word wall or pear deck word wall allows uh, students to match the pictures with the with the words and, and provide and receive prompt feedback individually uh, pear deck that they match or that they use the line to uh, they draw a line between the picture and the words or the phrases uh, uh, and uh, they can see each other's answers. The second learning episode focuses on interpersonal communication tasks where students exchange information about their favorite person. The first activity, uh, it's give one, get one and move on which is a collaborative activity. This, this activity is designed to help students access and build on prior knowledge. Uh, they use graphic organizer to write their own ideas before moving into uh, uh, a group activities or a lineup activity where that they can um, get uh, four more ideas from their uh, classmates. Let's see how it's happening. ما هي صفة الشخصية أحمد شقيري؟ هو أحب أن يعطي الوقت للأسر للأصدقاء. يلا تفضلي يا صفا. يلا. تفضل تفضل يا عيسى. هو لطيف. هو الرجل اللطيف. يساعد الفقراء. أنا على جائزة. تواضع. ما هي صفات الشخصية أحمد الشقيري؟ In order to adapt this, we can use the jigsaw model uh, because this activity needs a little bit of modification for online setting. Uh, since the use of the breakout rooms, it takes time from moving from one breakout rooms to another. So what we can uh, do a little bit of modification, so we can use the jigsaw model where students can complete their graphic organizer uh, in home, at home. Uh, at, for online setting, we will use the Zoom breakout rooms. This activity needs a little bit of modification to fit in online setting. We can use jigsaw model where students can complete their graphic organizer uh, in home within the home group uh, in the first group uh, uh, in the, the first breakout rooms and then they change breakout rooms and they move to other breakout rooms where that they exchange ideas in a groups so that they bring different ideas another way uh, again that you can um, adapt this for uh, online setting it's to ask students to prepare for this activity in asynchronous sessions and use the synchronous uh, synchronous time to practice sharing ideas uh, uh, via listening and uh, speaking and exchanging information and carrying on uh, the conversation the second activity is a friar square let's listen to the teacher describing how she uses it in her classroom the friar model is a tool that students use to gain a deeper understanding of vocabulary and concepts it requires a student to describe a person and give examples of action they do that depict a character trait. I begin by modeling the process with one friar model. Then students work individually to fill in their own friar. So as for adapting this activity into online setting, uh, for modeling I suggest to use Zoom. As for graphic organizers, that they, uh, they can use graphic organizer on Google slide. Uh, it, it allows teachers to see, uh, it allows teachers to see and comment about their work and give them suggestion and uh, to make sure that, that they are on task and that they can do this individually or in groups. For checking for learning, students share information about their favorite person let's see how students are uh, 
exchanging, exchanging information in the first group. What is the name of the person? The name of the person is Barack Obama. Safa, what is the name of the person? The name of the person is Barack Obama. He is the first president of the United States. Elias, what is the name of the person? The name of the person is LeBron James, the live, the Kura Tassala, the Lakers. Shahwais, what is the name of this person? So for practicing asking and answering questions, the best way to adapt this activity for online setting is to use Zoom, of course, the breakout rooms, and the teacher can move between the rooms and provide feedback and support. The last episode of this learning plan focuses on making meaning of an authentic resource. Uh, students get to know information about a boy's life interest and his future dream job. So in order to complete this task, that that's uh, use the visible thinking routine. Uh, this the whole uh, learning plan is built around visible thinking routine that uh, it helps uh, students use strategies that facilitate understanding of authentic text based on uh, observation, guessing, finding evidence, and through listening to the text, and uh, promote inquiry. So the, the routine is divided into three activities. The first one I see, I think, whereas the students, they watch uh, without sound, the video without sound, and they list what they see, and then that they put their um, guessing of what's happening according to what they've seen and then that they listen to the video and uh, they record in the third in the fourth column of what that they heard and what that they've learned about this boy and at the end that they uh, write questions about what that they wonder still wondering about so let's go and uh, see how it is uh, adapted into the online uh, platform so it is um, I put this and just to show you that on online that you can actually uh, put the instruction for the students and the first way that I adapted this for online and I'll give you another example is the uh, put uh, the instruction uh, on the, um, the padlet Whereas giving description and said, watch and describe what you only see uh, and write what you think it's happening. So filling the first column and the second column. And then later on watching the video with sounds and listing what they've learned about the boy. They can read each other's uh, you know, answers and comment about them. And as you see, there is no name attached to this so that they can freely comment and freely, um, uh, you know, read and don't feel shy if they didn't get all the answers correctly. And for the exit uh, ticket that, uh, what they would think uh, that they would do, uh, would like to know more about this boy. Another way for adapting this learning episode, a student can complete the first part with I see and uh, list what that they see first when they watch the video without sound and then what they think that they complete that uh, in, um, in the asynchronous uh, session and uh, that they can go complete uh, the I know, I wonder uh, uh, in a, at home on a asynchronous form. Uh, this would make the synchronous time more productive and allow students to work according to their abilities and readiness. Additional tech tools can be used, uh, such as uh, Edpuzzle, to offer uh, students options so that they can use Edpuzzle, Pear Deck, and Google Slides. The second learning plan is designed for university students using the same theme, focusing on different program can do statement and performance assessment tasks. And we're gonna use this as a practice to see how you can um, um, you know, adapt these learning activities into, um, into the online setting. 
uh, the learning episode focuses on identifying biographical information when others in, introduces themselves for checking for learning. Uh, they watch segment of TV reality show and identify basic information uh, the contestants provide when that they introduce themselves. The teachers start by modeling. So there are two or four activities in this uh, learning episode. The first two are connected to each other and the second two are you know, built on these two. So the first two, it, they serve as a review uh, and uh, the teacher starts with showing uh, personal information and modeling, introducing herself, the I do, and she would model with one or two students uh, sharing uh, small parts of uh, information. And then uh, that she puts them, the second activity, she puts them in groups or in pairs where they, they introduce, introduce themselves. So how can, how would you adapt this activity to fit an online setting? Think about it. For me, I will be using synchronous, uh, asynchronous uh, activity. I make it asynchronous uh, a task for these two activities and using PowerPoint or PowerPoint video. And the PowerPoints, I recorded my voice. I provided uh, examples so we can have a fast look at this. Taqdimu and nafs. اهلا بكم في صف اللغه العربيه انا الاستاذه ايمان هاشم there's a lot of repetition but i'm gonna make it go fast just انا من سوريا انا من سوريا and here are the examples from انا تويتي characters and finally I provide a mom. والآن جاء دوركم قدموا أنفسكم ممكن تقولوا and for let's talk we used the flip grid where students can actually see my introduction and uh, introduce themselves and respond to it for the second learning uh, episode uh, that will focus on for only two activities that deals with interpretive reading uh, so, as you notice, the teacher used technology in her physical, uh, uh, actually in her physical classroom. She used the iPad, she used the computer. So, for me, it is locating uh, information about celebrities. Here, you can still use the Zoom and using uh, the, the computer to uh, present the, for the students. It's uh, showing them and guiding them, modeling. As for interpretive reading task, I suggest to be done in a synchronous session in order to provide the support they need and uh, depends on reading strategies uh, versus using Google Translate. So it is the teaching them and um, practicing with them reading strategies. For modeling, the teacher can use Zoom to share the sc her screen and walk them through opening the website and choosing and identifying information about the celebrities, then using Pear Deck uh, to share the information they identified about um, their favorite celebrity. After looking at all these learning experiences, can you describe what makes them effective? Please go to Padlet. Describe what makes the adapted learning experiences effective. And thank you for attending this session. Hope to see you at panel discussion with the presenter.